Hi everybody, welcome to Everyday Survival Gear. Uh, today I'm bringing you the pros and cons of lithium ion batteries. I have a flashlight, uh, JPM BC40, which runs on lithium ions, and I have some lithium ion 18650s here. I'm just going to go over the pros and cons, uh, some pros and cons. There are, are a lot. Um, in both ways between pros and cons so we'll start out with the pros actually we'll start out with the yeah we'll start out with the pros um, lithium ions can be made to any size uh, which they can be but they are not currently but you can get double A's which are lithium ion size and other um, similar alkaline uh, size batteries uh, converted into lithium ions or you can buy them already like that even triple A's you can now so that is a pro um, they are lighter than equivalent batteries of other kinds mainly alkalines they are a lot lighter than alkaline batteries uh, which helps because if you already got a heavy camera or flashlight um, having a lighter battery in it will take less toll and fatigue on you in the long run no memory effect. This just means that uh, if you don't recharge it from zero from the bottom, um, that you won't lose the memory. Or if you don't fully charge it, uh, it's not going to... So say your battery is like these, I think 3.7 volts. So if you only charge it to 3.5, the max it will stay at is 3.5. It doesn't have any memory effect. Uh, low self discharge rate uh, about 5% per month so the shelf life of one of these batteries uh, keeping its energy is about um, 20 months so you lose 5% per month until you can't use the battery anymore because there's no voltage left on it and other batteries uh, alkalines um, well now they have long life alkalines um, and long life nickel metal hydrate um, but some batteries you do lose up to 30% per month of energy um, this one is a pro and a con cheaper to run compared to normal alkaline batteries which is very true because they are rechargeable um, even though they are more expensive to buy at the start uh, over the life you'll get 500 to 1000 cycle so full charges out of that battery uh, which is going to work out equivalent to buying 500 to 1000 sets of whatever other batteries you are using um, higher voltage and milliamp per hour generally speaking they are higher volts um, even the lithium ions that you buy that fit inside a normal device a normal double A device they are about 3.7 volts and up to about 2500 milliamp hours so you will get a longer span of life out of those lithium ions than uh, normal AA alkaline batteries. And that is it for the pros so far. And now we'll do the cons. Um, sometimes when you buy these batteries, they come with short dates. So if the battery is already a little bit old and you're looking to buy it, um, stay away from it because uh, that can be a waste of money um, they can lose up to 20% of their maximum um, voltage or milliamp hours so say it's 2600 milliamp hours over the over a lifespan of a year you can lose up to 20% off that and up to 35% off that if you keep it in a hot environment so say if it's a laptop battery and the laptop's constantly running hot, you can lose up to 35% of the full charge of the battery. And they need to be well looked after. Um, you can't throw these around, no bumping them, no hitting them. They have to be very well looked after, unlike other batteries, which are a lot more durable. Um, you can't discharge them the whole way generally speaking you want to charge these by about 
1.2 volts because if you let it discharge on the 1.2 uh, 1 volts around about there maybe 0 0.8 to 1.2 volts just to be on the safe side keep it a little bit higher um, so if you let it discharge too low um, it can cause shards in the battery and then when you go and try and charge it um, those shards are blocking the internals of the battery so the metal fragments that are inside the battery join together and it causes a blockage which can then cause a fire or explosion um, but if you're not going to use them if you in a device take them out and you can put them in the fridge um, keep them dry obviously don't get them wet because then they can discharge again uh, from the moisture but keep them dry and that will preserve the life for a lot longer um, so yeah once again they do need to be kept cool um, keep them cool and you will have a lot longer battery life and they can be dangerous to charge too um, they can catch on fire or cause an explosion if you're not careful um, not only from the shards in the battery from charging it from too low voltage uh, also if you overcharge it trickle charge it it could get too hot and they uh, if they're protected they could vent and so they will not explode because you just damage the cell and then you can no longer use the battery um, but uh, they can catch on fire so you have to be careful especially buying from eBay this brand it says ultra fire but I am 100% certain that it is fake um, the other one of this battery is only one here um, actually um, it didn't ex explode but this one has 3.8 volts left and the other one had like 0 0.3 volts um, so it discharged to stop itself from exploding that happened to me um, it's a pro and a con but they do have high initial cost I bought these years ago um, these are Sanyo cells it's not marked but they are um, they cost me about $40, uh, 2600 milliamp hours uh, lithium ion 18650s. So they are a little bit expensive at the start, and then the charger initial cost is a lot of money. Because um, I brought a so uh, SoShine charger um, that cost me about $50, and it came with an Australian plug. Um, but nowadays the chargers are going down, and these batteries are going down, which is good and they have a higher internal resistance too which doesn't really matter that much to many people but yeah just take care of them and they will last longer um, these ones right here uh, they, will, they are a Sanyo but you still do get the odd problems with them I went uh, hunting and when I came back to Sydney from down the coast um, I didn't charge these straight away and I'll show you right now so these to me these are useless I cannot use them anymore because the charge voltage is too low and my new charger won't let me charge it because the voltage is too low Let's see if I can put that there put the light on if it goes on I'm running out of battery but so look at that that's actually completely dead didn't expect it to be that dead for that there will be a little bit of voltage left um, yeah, so these batteries, um, I cannot use any of these ones here. So, um, if you're not careful with them, cost-wise, they can end up costing you a lot. Uh, these were cheap, but I'm pretty sh sh certain that they're fake. So, this, that's the other thing is on eBay, you just got to be careful with what you're buying, as with anything else. But with batteries, it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, so, that has been some of the pros and the cons of lithium ion batteries. Uh, thank you for watching.